Welcome back to News 12. We're back again and better, better than ever. The Tour de Bronx kicked off its 28th year as more than a thousand bikers came together to ride around our borough. Well, News 12 Cecilia Hua follows their journey from the Grand Concourse. A sea of bike helmets could be seen throughout the Bronx today as bikers from all over the city participated in the 28th annual Tour de Bronx. I, I love to ride the bicycle and I love the Bronx. It's great, you know, you see people dressed up and, and different types of bikes and it, it's, a, it's a big event and it's fun. Riding for the first time as borough president, Vanessa Gibson says she's been practicing for the big day. And I give all respect to those that can ride 40, 50, 60 miles. I'm trying just to get through the 25 today. The 25 mile route takes cyclists around the borough, making stops at the Castle Hill YMCA and Pelham Bay Park before wrapping up at the Botanical Gardens. It's not meant to be a race, but a chance to actually tour the Bronx. Whether you are a beginner, whether you are intermediate, or whether you are an advanced cyclist, we are encouraging everyone to be a part of this. Many times the Bronx is an overlooked borough, but we have so many things to offer. Transportation advocates also taking this as an opportunity to call for more bike lanes and protection for cyclists. So the Bronx, notably out of all the boroughs, has the least amount of protected bike infrastructure in the whole city, less than 6% citywide. Um, and that's something that we really want to change is an inequity that needs to be addressed. If you didn't get to participate in this year's Tour de Bronx, worry not because you can do a self-guided tour from right on your phone. We'll have a link to the route right on our website at news12.com. From the Grand Concourse, Cecilia Hua, News 12. Oh man, it looked like a